YouTube. My name is Cindy Dubray, and if you didn't already know, I have a disability called Bridget Synaxia, or FA for short. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about and explaining all about FA and my story with FA, as well as answering questions that you guys asked me on TikTok. I'm going to explain a little bit about Bridget's Anaxia, or FA for short. I have my phone here to read some facts off of connectfa.com. FA is a disease that mainly affects the nervous system and the heart. Only one in every 50,000 people has FA. Most people with FA start to experience symptoms around the age of 10 to 15. When you have FA, Damage occurs to the nerves in your brain and your spinal cord. This results in a loss of muscle control, causing problems such as unsteady and awkward movements. Some people describe it as being drunk all the time. This damage impacts the communication between your brain and your body. Everyone with FA has different symptoms, so I'm going to read you a list of the symptoms that I experienced. Gain ataxia, which makes me appear dizzy or drunk all the time. Difficulty walking, poor coordination and balance. Fatigue, weak muscles, lack of reflexes. Difficulty sensing vibration in feet and legs as well as a loss of sensation in arms and legs. Starting at the fingertips and then spreading throughout the body. Slowing and slurring of speech, loss of hearing, involuntary eye movements. Difficulty swallowing, cardiomegaly, heart palpitations, shortness of breath, foot deformities, and scoliosis. Now that that's out of the way, I'm gonna do a little story time, probably a long story time, about my life with that bay and all the things leading up to my diagnosis and what happened after I was diagnosed with that bay. Let me start off by saying I have an older brother with FA who was diagnosed when I was five years old. So from a very young age, probably around the age of seven, eight, nine, I noticed that I had some difficulties walking and difficulties running, especially while I was playing sports. And I noticed some things in school like bad handwriting or just general clumsiness. So I knew from that age that I actually had the disease because my older brother had it. And I actually used to tell people whenever my friends or whoever would ask, what's wrong with you or why do you walk like that? I would tell them, oh, I have something wrong with my legs. Just like my older brother, my parents thought I had just learned some of his behaviors from watching him and that was why I walked differently or ran differently or things like that. However, I knew that I actually had the disease. It's also super rare for siblings to actually both have the disease. So it was kind of hard to believe that I would also have the disease as well as my brother. Finally, my parents have realized that there really was an issue with me and we went to the doctor and I got diagnosed with that bed at 10 years old. Oh yeah, and while I was doing blood work to be diagnosed for FA, they also found that I had a thyroid problem called Graves' disease, which caused my metabolism to speed up really fast. And I lost a bunch of weight and almost died. But I went on medication and went into remission, so I'm all good now. <laughs> At age 11, I started middle school, but my symptoms weren't that noticeable yet. Then around the age of 12, 13, my symptoms started to become a lot more noticeable. And my friends started distancing themselves from me. My walking also became a lot more difficult. At age 13, I had my first clinical trial for FA. I traveled to Minnesota and let them run some tests on me to gather more information about FA. Then in the summer, I was actually granted a wish by the Make-A-Wish Foundation and I chose to go to Hawaii with my family and swim with the dolphins and it was so much fun. Pictures.
At the age of 14, I started high school and I had very little friends going into high school because my condition had gotten a lot worse. Walking was very, very difficult for me at that point. I also went back to Minnesota for my second clinical trial. At the age of 15, walking became very, very difficult for me and I was falling a lot. Can I say, specifically in this lighting with your hair, you look like a blonde Vanessa Hudgens. I get that on TikTok all the time. I look like <laughs> Vanessa Hudgens. You look like a blonde Vanessa Hudgens. Don't I get that all the time? <laughs> I can see it, especially in this light. Okay. I have been struggling with scoliosis for many years, and the summer before my sophomore year of high school, I had to have spine surgery to correct the scoliosis. I spent the entire summer recovering from my spine surgery and then whenever I started my sophomore year of high school, I began using Lutra full time and I instantly lost all my friends after that. The rest of the time throughout high school, I didn't really have any friends. I spent most of the time traveling back and forth between New York and Florida, going to multiple clinical trials for FA. At the age of 18, I graduated high school and I went to college. I was majoring in psychology and I actually started to make a lot of friends there. I went to college for two semesters and then at the age of 19, I left college and moved back home. So finally, the ending to this long and not so great story is I started using TikTok in October of 2019 and in June of 2020, I started getting more followers and more attention on TikTok and I was able to come here on YouTube and now here I am. Speaking, it's hard to say speaking. Speaking of TikTok, I made a video on there asking you guys to ask me some questions all about FA and my life with FA. And now I'm gonna answer some of them. You won't read this, but if you do, I am a big fan of you. I have one question if you don't mind. Do you have any issues with learning or education? FA does not affect any of your cognitive abilities, so I do not have any issues with education or learning. I actually took all advanced classes when I was in high school and I was an honor student. How is life in a wheelchair compared with that one? So for me, whenever I started using wheelchair, it was actually very helpful for me and kind of a saving grace because walking was very difficult for me and I fell a lot and got hurt a lot. So being in a wheelchair was actually a lot better and a lot more comfortable for me and it allowed me a lot more opportunities and I was able to do a lot more of what I wanted. Is it hard to be poor to understand you sometimes? It is hard for people to understand me sometimes. I have to repeat myself a lot, but when it's someone that I spend a lot of time with, they generally can understand me better than a random person that I just met. Do you have to do daily workouts? Keep it up, we love you. I don't do any daily workouts even though I probably should. I used to be in physical therapy and it actually helped a lot, but I don't go right now because I'm not really able to afford it right now. What is the most difficult thing you have to deal with? No offense. So this question is probably the most difficult thing because everything that I do is difficult. Um, every little thing in my daily life is more difficult than it should be. So I don't really know how to answer that question. Um, yeah, everything's hard. How do you stay so positive every day dealing with it? So I have my good days and I have my bad days. I know that all you see is the good days because I like my YouTube channel to be a positive place. But the truth is I do have bad days. I just don't really post about it. But I think it is important to acknowledge the bad days and the good days. And it's good to have a healthy balance of both. 
Hey, you're awesome. With the FA, does it matter in your family? Is it easier for a family member to get it if someone else has it? FA does run the family. It's an inherited disease, which means that both parents have to be carriers of it. However, the child only has a 25% chance of having FA. Once you have a child with FA, there is no higher chance or lower chance that another child will also have FA. However, it's just really unlikely not yeah, no, that's like, that's basic possibility. So if you... Yeah, my brother had 25% chance. I have 25% chance. But the chance of both of us having it... Is like is uber 25 rare. 25 times 25, which is like point zero six. So how do I explain that without going in the math part? Wouldn't it be a 12.52? Point times 25 Whatever is... Whatever 0.25 times 0.25 is. You better calculate it. Okay, wait. I have a calculator right here. Point two. Zero six two five chance. So that would be like a six. Chance. A six percent chance. Wait, I don't. Do I need to say all of that? Or I was recording all of this. Okay. There's, your, there's your answer. So how does your dating life work? I actually never dated anyone until about a year ago. When I was 19, I started seeing my current boyfriend, and that was my first relationship ever. It's been over a year now, and it's still going good. <laughs> Why were you so angry to shake you on that? It's still going good. <laughs> Is there any type of treatment, cure, much love and respect? We love the biz, keep them coming. There is currently no treatment or cure for FA. However, they are constantly doing studies and clinical trials to hopefully find a cure one day soon. That is all the questions that I'm going to answer in this video, but if you want to comment below some more questions about FA or my experience with FA, I will try to answer them in a future live stream. See that F.A. isn't all of who you are. Yeah. Real quick, I just want to say that F.A. is not all of who I am. Obviously, I have a disability and that is a big part of my life, but it is not the only part. This video is kind of just to get F.A. out the way so now I can make more videos about what I like to do like makeup and fashion. And most importantly, I want to vlog my crazy and different and interesting life. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to follow me on my other social medias, my TikTok is Sydney Dupree and my Instagram is Sydney and Dupree. All of my other information will be in the description. <laughs> it's not coming out right. <laughs> and vlogs about how... <laughs> I and can't say how. how <laughs> Alright, lip sync with me. And vlogs about how I live my very awesome, amazing, and totally un- <laughs> <laughs> I wanna- <laughs> I wanna make video- <laughs> Okay.